Hello, is that the Rose and Crown? Yeah, I had a little drink in your pub last night. I don't know if you remember me. I had the Scottish £10 note. Pointed out there's no K in Scampi. And one M. That's right, yeah. We know it's like you've had a few and accidentally you leave the pub with something. Beer glass, ashtray. Well, I've got your plough. Well, then. Oh. Ah. Hold on. Errol, mind that plough. Yeah, the big one off the ceiling. Sorry about that. You know, it's like you've got a few start showing off. <laughs> so, well, when, when do you want me to drop it round? There's no, there's no need for the... It's only a plough. You don't use it, do you? All right. All right, I'll drop it round this morning. <sighs> Miserable twat. Talk to me like I was some kind of thief. You are. I'm not. You took his plough. I'd had a few drinks. So it's all right if you've had a drink? F. So if you took it sober, you'd be a thief? No, I'd be an idiot. Who needs a plough when they're sober? So why'd you steal it? I didn't steal it. I just... <sighs> removed it from the pub. Without his permission? Yeah. So, why are you taking it back? What is the matter with you? Look, oh, stealing stuff. You should have stealing this thing. Look, look. It's a plough. It was a laugh. So, if you haven't stolen it, why not throw it away? Because it's not mine. Whose is it, then? <sighs> All right, Errol, I'm a thief. I nick ploughs. There, I've said it. Thanks, I feel so much better. You're so boring, aren't you? But you've never stolen anything, have you? I have. What? Mints. After a curry? Yeah. Boring. Hey, come on, get your fat ass around the other end of this plough. Do you think you'll get violent? Who, hey, George? Nah, I've nicked them loads of times. What is gold? Good. Not really in the mood for it today. No, I know what you mean. I had a massive breakfast at the cafe this morning. Did you get days like that as well, then? Oh, yeah. Thought it was just me. I had a fella swinging a baseball bat at mine last week. I said, you carry on, mate. I'm going for a cup of tea. <laughs> Days like this, I wish we had guns. Come on, George. I know you're in there. Just want to have a word with you. Why wouldn't they let us go through the park? Well, it was picking up a few divots. Yeah. Which way did you come last night? The park was shut. Don't know. Get off and milk it! It's a plough, not a bike, idiot. Come on. <coughs> you could have taken it all this way around the Beckett Centre. Maybe you went through the churchyard. No, there's no way I'd do that. Hey, your back wheel's going round. It's a plough. Who do you think you are, Michael Schumacher? You can only say that if I'm driving a car. Hey, you got a brand new combine harvester. It's a plough. Well, why don't you just ignore them? I don't mind abuse, as long as it's accurate. What are you doing with that plough, you twat? Ignore him, Errol. George! Come on, open the door. Mr Burton, no here. Mm, Mr Burton, no here. Don't be silly, Mr Burton. Just open the door. Mr. Burton, no here. Mr. Burton, gone away. Don't have me to go back to the station to get a warrant, George. Come on, open the door. Mr. Burton, no here. Mr. Burton, gone away. No here. George, this is serious. Come on, open the door. Mr. Burton, gone away. Mr. Burton, no here. Vince, have you read this? Hmm? So what happened in the churchyard? Hmm. It says here last night the cemetery was desecrated. It's terrible. The vicar says, I'm devastated. 
It's as if a maniac has gone on the rampage with a plow. Well, that's you. No. You had the plow and tracked it all the way home. No, no. No, because I never went through a churchyard. It is you. It must be one of those crazy coincidences you read about where two people on the same night in the same borough, Nick Plows, one of them goes through the churchyard, ruins it, and the other one safely makes his way home. Mr Burton, no here. Look, Mr Burton, we're on your side, but you're beginning to piss us off. I told you he's gone away. I'm watering his plants for him. Hello, are you? I'm Eric. I live round the corner. Where is he? He's on holiday. And what was all that with the silly voices? I don't know, I just felt like it. We could do you for wasting police time. What, a minute and a half? Hey. Now, you just tell him to report to the police station when he gets back, right? like it's me. Of course it looks like it's me. Of course it does. But if this was an episode of Poirot, he wouldn't even knock on my cabin door. Hmm? It's like that film, Usual Suspects. Everyone thinks it's the Irish fella. Turns out it's a bloke with a limp. I'm not... I've not seen that. What's that point? It's a fella with a limp. The sixth sense, right? Bruce Willis. Not Vince. I've... Ghost. Don't answer that. Don't, don't. What? We're having a nice time, aren't we? Could be somebody important. Yeah, we could be. We could be. Uh, could be Jim Davidson. Oh, don't want him coming around, do you? Uh. Yeah. Ooh. Or Hitler. I'll put the kettle on. You know what? And mousetrap, don't bother with that. I've got so awesome. I've got tickets! Mr. Clark? Vince, it's for you. It's a vicar. Angry! I'm fine, I'm fine. Angry! You're very lucky there, lad. Angry policeman! Very lucky indeed. Bad dibble. Right! Fuck! <laughs> yeah! Hey, hey! Hello. Oh. Hello. I'm from St Mary's. The name's Jonathan. Your worshipful... Oh. <laughs> I had a phone call this morning from the landlord of the Rosen Crown. Never go in there. From which you are barred. He told me of an incident involving you and a plough, and last night our graveyard was disturbed. I was wondering if the two events were connected. Yes. I dug up your graveyard, accidentally. I'm sorry. You liar! You said it was a coincidence. I was drunk. I'm sorry, really. Sorry. He said if it was an episode of Poirot, they wouldn't knock on his cabin door. That was a twist. It was me. I feel really bad about this. I knew it was you. Because he said it must have been someone else with another plow on the same night. Is he your mate? Lodger. Oh. See, the park was shut, so I thought I'd nip through the cemetery. Because they're quite heavy, those plows. Mm. If you'd nipped through, there'd be a straight line. But you, you went on a rampage. Mm. I dropped my keys. Oh. Yeah, so I had to go looking for them. You could have put the plow down. I was pissed, drunk. Drunk, I was drunk. I'm sorry, I feel really I'm terrible about this. Unbelievable. How can you say you didn't do it when you did? These things do happen. But, Father, lying's wrong. Well, didn't Jesus tell a few lies? No. He did. He betrayed our Lord for 30 pieces of silver, dimwit. That was Judas. 
What did I say? Jesus. I'm always doing that. Some people, it's left and right. Me, them two. Jesus was a good one. I do know. What do you think that is? Scotch mist? Hmm. Sorry about it, is it? It's boring. Will you shut up? Stop it. It's boring. Don't get involved. I'm sorry. I feel terrible about this. You know? Maybe I could raise some money. Do you need a new roof? It's just been done. Minibus. Passed its MOT on Monday. You got bells? Yeah. I'll tell you what I'd like. Can I have... A nice cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. And a biscuit. You're gonna let him off with a cup of tea? Errol, shut up. Will you plough up his graveyard? Well, didn't Jesus plough up a few? Oh, I've done it again. Jesus, Judas, Jesus, Judas. <laughs> hey, good job it's not a christening. <laughs> <laughs> Don't normally watch Hollyoaks. You liar. I love it. The thing I like about it, <laughs> they're all so young. It's filmed in Chester. Everyone knows that. Well, it's interesting to me because I'm from Salford and it's not that far. So why mention it if it's only interesting to you? Yeah. Well, sometimes you just say things that come into your head. I don't. Do you? No. No. Don't have a go at me. He's the one that nicked the plough. He's the one that nicked the plough. He's the one that nicked the plough. Judas. No. Oh, yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. Judas, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I better be getting on with things. Oh, are you very busy? Yeah. Thanks for being so understanding about the plough business. I thought I was in a bit of trouble there. Of course, it's not up to me. I just report to the bishop. He decides if any action is necessary. So it's not over, then? I'll tell you what I fancy. What? A game of table tennis. Do you play? Yeah, I, I love table tennis. Not you, you're boring. So I'm under Waterloo Bridge, right? About half an hour, stock still. Get a little bit bored. Like that, right? This juggler comes up and he goes, Oi, that's my patch. I hate jugglers. Everyone hates jugglers. And I said, you're a patch, piss off. Then you hit him? Yeah, I hit him. I got him headlock. And bang! I was banging his head on the windows of the NFT. Bang! Bang like that. And then there was this big flash. And I thought, as he hit me back, you know, for a second. Turns out there's some tourist, American, uh, taking pictures. And we both stopped, put aside our differences, you know, street people. We said, come on, mate. This is our living. If you want to take a picture, you've got to pay. Because this is unique. I'm not supposed to be moving for a start. You've got a juggler here, Mohican, tattoos all over him. That's got to be worth a tenner. So I gets his camera and I'm like that. that throws it in the Thames. Juggler comes up, kicks him up the ass. He was actually a pretty good bloke. Oh, uh, hello again. Uh, I ordered something from your catalogue, but uh, I'd like to cancel it. Great, great, yeah. Um. I like to cancel the wind break. Yeah, it's a bit boring, isn't it? Mm. Mm. And instead, I would like the Illuminous Snoopy phone. Cordless. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let's go mad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and can I have the uh, bullet belt and the home piercing kit? Four sixty a month. But yeah, can we lose the belt? Yeah, four forty. Woo! Game. Fancy another? Yeah, but can we change ends so I don't have to keep going down there all the time? Nah, a lot of hassle. Let's just stay the way we are. So, I'm walking across Blackfriars, police car comes up, takes me down to Bow Street, puts me in one of them identification parades. Yeah, the Yankin made a big fuss. So there's six of us, all silvered up, in a lineup.
Did he pick you? Did he bugger him a lush? You know Dave from Brentford? No. You do. Dave. Brentford Dave. What's he look like? What's he look like? He's got silver on his face. That's what he looks like. Anyway, the yank picks him and he causes a right fuss. And it's great for the rest of us because he's got a great patch, Covent Garden, right? So anyway, I'm on my way out and his copper says to me, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. I says, what's that supposed to mean? He says, it's just an expression. I says, well, this is just an expression. Bang, elbow in the face. And I'm afraid, love, this time, it looks like it's going to be custodial. Not bad for a vicar. Why don't you have a go? I'm not very good at climbing. I just try it, see if you can do it. Nah, I'm alright. Do it. I'm fine. Do it. You'd like that, would you? Yeah. Do it. That make you happy? Very happy. Just do it. All right. That's it. You might enjoy it. Remember, you only live once, except for the afterlife. I'm really glad I met you, Vince. I haven't had this much fun for ages. Most people don't like to hang out with vicars. <laughs> hang out. Huh. Yeah. They think you'll just... Talk about God all the time and drink tea with old ladies. That's just rubbish. We haven't talked about God once. Have, have we talked about God once? No. No, not once. I suppose you don't believe in God, do you? Not really. Doesn't bother me. Do you think it bothers me? It doesn't. Look at my face. Do I look like I'm bothered? Do I? No. No, because I'm not. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. At all. Neither am I. No, you will be when you're in hell. Oh, yes, swimming in a lake of turds and wasps. Ugh, it'll be horrible. Whereas my eternity, oh, I'll have a margarita in one hand, endless beaches, watching Mariah Carey riding a horse in her shorts. My turn. Quite symbolic, these, aren't they? The apple is evil, the coffee is temptation, and the stick exposes your surface. No, you're wrong. The apple is good, and the toffee is nice, and the stick is handy. Have another go. They're good, you're evil. No, what's good is me. I'm brilliant at it. What's evil is, it costs a pound a go. I love coming down here, letting off a bit of steam. They used to have a mole machine. I broke it. I hate moles. I mean, I know the gods creatures and everything, but if you'd seen what they'd done to my graveyard. Hmm. Better than a plough going through it, though, eh? <laughs> That's not funny. What's funny about that? What is funny about you ploughing up my graveyard? Sometimes it's... There's one there. You did a terrible thing. Why would you get me a toffee apple? Because I like you, Vince. You're a laugh. Hey? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
had her head shaved. Bet she didn't do it for charity. I shaved mine, raised £400 for comic relief. Mm. Bet this lot could raise about 2000 If yeah, they weren't so spiritual. Mm. You're jealous, aren't you? Well, makes me sick. I'm lucky if I get half this on a Sunday. We only open on a Sunday. This lot's flexible hours. Most people on Sunday is hangover. The last thing we'll do is pray. So, you think we should do pub hours? Have, like, hymns on the jukebox, fill the church with scumbags and lowlifes? Oh, I thought that was the idea. Isn't that what Christ did? Yeah, exactly. And look what happened to him. I mean, it's a great idea on paper. You try doing a sermon with some bloke singing Wild Rover and combing his hair with a shoe. Buddha. Look at it. Load of old bollocks. Fantastic. The look on their faces. But well, they saw you were a vicar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's a snake bite. Hey, hey. I think I saw a sprinkler system in that place. Whoops. <laughs> mm. You think you'll get in trouble for that? Yeah, I'll be in big trouble with Buddha. Luckily, he doesn't exist. <laughs> And what about your mate Jesus? Well, he was a bit of a rogue, wasn't he, Jesus? No, I've got that wrong, haven't I? It was Judas. I'm always doing that. Jesus, Judas. Jesus, Judas. Yeah. I have the same trouble with Robson and Jerome. Which one's evil? No, which one's Robson, which one's Jerome? I mean, they're both evil. No, that's not true. One of them opened our summer fate last year. Made a lot of money for charity. Yeah, which one? It is difficult, isn't it? Fancy early night. What? Fantastic. Mm. <laughs> Good night. See you tomorrow. Um, no, no, I can't do that. Good idea. Next week. No. Nope. Well, see you around. No. See, tomorrow. I am flying to Kenya. <laughs> Good one. The bishop sent me there for two years. Orphans. What do I want you for? I'm a vicar. That's what vicars do. 
I just wanted a good night out before I left. I thought we were mates. I'm everyone's mate. I'm the vicar. I'm coming home. I've done my time. All right. All right. What are you doing? Big origami. Ah. Uh. It's not boring, is it? No. It's really exciting. Yeah. Have a nice time with your new friend. Nah. I'll go to bed. Mm. Are you Vince? Yeah. Yesterday our meditation was disturbed. By someone setting off the fire alarm. And we wondered if you were involved. Yes. I set off your fire alarm. On purpose. I meant it. I had a great time. <laughs> Look 